Locked in their cells as another detainee tries to escape an adjoining room. It's 2014 at the old Don Dale's notorious behavioural management unit. Josiah Binsaris, Leroy O'Shea, Kieran Webster and another then teenage boy are inevitably tear gassed, unable to escape their concrete cells as officers try to detain a then 14 year old Jake Roper nearby. It was one of the many incidents at the Dondal Youth Detention Centre that sparked a Royal Commission into the Northern Territory's youth justice system. The people that made the decision and did the gassing of these children acted unlawfully, it was wrongful and shouldn't have been done. Today, six years later, the High Court of Australia ruled the gassing of the four teenagers locked inside their cells was unlawful. There were bystanders to the confrontation between Jake Roper and the staff of the detention centre playing out in the adjacent exercise yard. The use of CS gas on the appellants was a battery and therefore unlawful, the court ruled. A previous ruling by the Northern Territory Supreme Court had found the use of gas was reasonable and necessary, sparking the appeal to the High Court of Australia. The four boys in this case have already sued the Northern Territory Government over their treatment at Don Dale, receiving a combined total of $53,000 in 2018 over the use of spit hoods and shackles at the jail. But they were then also ordered to pay legal costs, which likely outweighed the compensation. Today's High Court decision paves the way for further compensation, ordering that a Supreme Court judge determines the damages owed to the four former detainees. Melissa McKay, ABC News.